Lately, I haven't been feeling quite myself. I think the routine got the best of me, so my feminine energy was not flowing. It was not giving, not slaying, not demure, nor mindful. It was pretty bad. <laughs> my happiness, along with my motivation, were rapidly decreasing and I realized I had to do something about it. When I feel stressed, when I feel overwhelmed, I actually don't feel hot or pretty at all. And that makes me feel even worse because motivation goes down, I feel bad about myself, and then my productivity takes a hit. And that's the biggest no-no because nothing can affect my productivity. My work, my career is super important for me. So I realized it's time to take everything in my own hands and get myself back into the ultra power mode. Mm. And that got me thinking, how much can I actually glow up in one week? Considering that I'm a normal person, busy person, and I don't have Kylie Jenner kind of, well, unfortunately not yet. So this is my one week recharge. I will see how quick can I get my shit together and how much can I glow up in just one week. I've been giving so much to the outside world that it's time to give to myself. This is not good at all. This is not good at all. So I'm getting ready to go to my hairstylist. Let's see what they're gonna do about this. About this, about this. Ah! Hair salon is definitely my happy place. Not only because my bestie works here, but also this is where I can be truly myself. I can come unperfect with no makeup, messy hair, and I know I will always leave way prettier and way happier and also have amazing therapy session and chat about recent tea. To the salon, I went straight to the gym and had a very good workout. You know, I feel like on the days when I don't feel like working out, I have the best workouts. I'm not sure why it is like this, but I know my body always feels very grateful after I push myself a little bit. And it also gives me so much mental clarity and peace that, you know, workout can never fail you. Another day, another try. So today I want to focus on my body and stretch because my shoulders has been feeling so stiff. So I started from the gym again, but this workout was very light. I focused on stretching every single part of my body, my legs, my arms, and especially my stiff back and shoulders. And I also did some basic ab exercise, more like Pilates style. So it's not very intense, but again, a little bit of movement, a little bit of activity always makes me feel better. The next step that I wanted to do today is to journal. I don't really do this often enough, but there's been so many things that's been bothering me that I realized I need to write them down. I also did a few cards from We Are Not Really Strangers uh, self-reflection kit. And as usual, these cards hit too close to home, but I was finally able to be honest with myself and reflect on all the recent worries and troubles that I had. I find crying very healing. It's also a way of self-care, being honest with your feelings, being honest with your emotions, and just let it all out when you feel overwhelmed. A crying session is nothing to be ashamed of, and yeah, I just felt like I've been bottling things up for too long, and I just couldn't hold it anymore, and I'm not gonna lie, after my crying session, I felt way, way better. Good morning! Today, I don't know what's going on, I actually woke up pretty late, it's around 11.30 I think because I went to the bed very late yesterday, I've been working Honestly, I used to feel very bad when I wake up late because I feel so unproductive I feel like, oh, I've been doing so much more work But today, I decided to be kind to myself, I'm not gonna blame myself but okay. And you know what, let me make some nice breakfast and then go to the office and do my work This is my favorite part of the morning, just making my coffee I made the breakfast, I made the breakfast. Yesterday I baked the carrot cake. I made a carrot cake. <gasps> wow, what is this? Potatoes? Apples. Oh. Potatoes. <laughs> and some eggs and bacon. Whee! Lately my stress has been going up and my free time has been going down. And my skin. And my skin clearly flexed up. And I realized I must do something about it. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? It's a new day and today finally my skin is going to get some attention. 
I've been too busy to properly do my skincare. I wasn't happy with the skin condition, so I went to get a hydrofacial. Honestly, I feel like hydrofacials are so worth it. If you do them consistently, they really change how your skin looks like. It was a little bit painful, but I know it's super, super beneficial long term. In a few days, I know I'm gonna see the results. This is the best reset I can do for my face ever. So to summarize my reset, it consisted of seven main points. First of all, my skincare. Yes, I went to get a hydrofacial and already in two, three days I could see the results. My skin was glowing. Second of all, I did my hair and having my roots bleached, having this perfect blonde just makes me feel so cute. The next thing that I did was healthy food. I made sure my diet was better. I was focusing on eating red meat and vegetables. I cut down the sugar. I cut down the carbs just for this diet. I wanted to eat more clean. I wanted to eat more natural unprocessed food and focus on getting enough protein. Then I focused on exercising and stretching because movement always makes me feel better. I dedicated 10-15 minutes to stretching every single day. And honestly, now straight up my back hurts less. The next point was mental glow up. Something that I didn't pay enough attention was my mental space. I always say that I'm too busy to journal, too busy to meditate. But during this week, I try to focus on this, try to find time for this as well. Also reading. I feel like when I read, it makes me more calm. The last point is fashion and confidence, the way I dress. I'm not gonna lie, when I dress up and I let myself overdress a little bit, I just feel so much better. I do genuinely believe that you don't need the occasion to pull off your best outfits because every day is a special occasion. You only live once and you should fully enjoy your life. You should fully embrace who you are, what you want to be and how you want to look. And for me, that's being a little bit fancy. I always feel so pretty. I always feel so inspired when my outfit looks good. Such a, nice such a girl style con. This was a very needed week. I feel refreshed, I feel better, and I finally have more energy to work. I've been feeling like my motivation to even do basic things were dying, but now I feel like me again. I don't feel like I changed. I don't feel like I became a new person, but I feel like me again. So this reset, the globe, that's what we need when we don't feel like ourselves. So do yourself a favor, give yourself some special attention, do things you like, do things that make you feel pretty, do things that make you feel good, and that's inevitably gonna help you glow up.